What's up, Adventure Raiders? Ow, that was hot. That was such a bad idea. Ow. Ow. <laughs> what is up, Adventure Agents? Agent Tex here. So, we got a campfire. We're at our and log frisbee. cabin here. And we got we a got frisbee. A we're going to have a blast today. We are going to do a and Minecraft versus a frisbee. Bushcraft video today. Open your mouth. Look up and open your mouth. Oh, I'm it's good. It's raining rice. It's raining rice. We have some rice here and sausage. We're eating a meal. We're eating lunch. Are you agents ready? Yeah. Are you ready? But I'm we got Agent Axe here. Funnel we got Agent Hummingbird. We are going to do a Minecraft versus Bushcraft. Funnel uh, cake! Uh, yes, we are going to make funnel cakes on the campfire. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about funnel cakes. Guess what, Daddy? And then we are going to make a bow and arrow. Daddy, we should We're do We're going to make bows and arrows using bushcraft methods in the woods, using materials that we find in the woods, and then we're gonna go and make bows and arrows in Minecraft and see the difference between Since the two. Since we're making funnel cakes, did you what? know that you can easily make cakes in Minecraft? You can? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Eggs, milk, and sugar. Nice. All right, so you guys ready to make some funnel cakes and get out into the woods and make some bows and arrows? Yeah! All right, let's do it. All right, so one cup of tapioca flour. Chef Axe, Agent one cup Axe, of tapioca flour. Chef Axe is dumping one one cup of tapioca flour. Okay, let's now see how the master. Oh, this is this what it's gonna look like afterwards? <gasps> that looks so delicious. Okay, so funnel Wait, cakes here. To put the eggshell. It's a what? Somewhere to put the eggshell. Oh, it's okay. You can just toss them in the woods. Throw them in the woods. Throw them in the woods. Yep. All right, crack them in. Throw them. All right, in the one woods. egg. There we go. Oh, we need we need Agent Hummingbird to help a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. You want to do an egg? Okay, let's let Agent Hummingbird do one egg. Oh. Let me see the book here. This is pa the Paleo Kids Cookbook. Pretty sweet. Agent Axe has been cooking up a storm with this book. Like every day he's making cool stuff. I made vanilla wafers and animal yeah. crackers. Yeah. yeah, all these things he's making happen to be desserts. So. I'm going to pour it in. <laughs> all right. All right. Can you let Agent Hummingbird pour it in? If we were in a survival situation, I would eat that. You'd eat I'm that? I'm pretty sure you would cake. even eat that if you weren't in a survival, in a survival situation. Eat funnel cake. Remember that, everybody. Remember that. So what's next? Now we need two tablespoons of avocado oil. I think the avocado oil goes in there. Yeah, it does. Two. Pour it in. One. Two. Pinch of salt. I didn't see you pinch that salt. You just dumped it in. You didn't pinch it. It's gonna ruin the recipe. I pinched it. Now, mister. That does not look good. No. How much coconut oil, Chef Axe? Um, one inch. One inch. One inch. So that's about good, Dad. And we need a pastry bag, but since none could be found, we got a Ziploc bag instead. Oh, that is ready, I think. Ooh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Ah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's starting to look like a funnel cake. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That looks great, doesn't it? Who's excited for funnel Me. cake? It has been so long, agents, since I have had a funnel cake. Wait, you got a funnel cake? I bet before? a lot of you like funnel cake. You got a funnel cake? I before? have, yeah. Uh huh. Really good. When I was a boy, I used to go to the fair, the Texas State Fair, and I would have funnel cake. Daddy's browning. It's been. Is it's it browning? Like... All right, let's flip it. Flippity doo dah. Whoa! Oh, that's so perfect. <gasps> Is that how it's supposed to look? Uh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Hey, this is campfire funnel cake. We're not we're not looking for perfection here. It's the best campfire funnel cake that we could ever make, I think. <laughs> yeah. we you're gonna like it. I guarantee you're gonna like it. <laughs> okay, so you're supposed to wait, I think, till the bubbles start coming so much. The bubbles mean moisture. That's what these bubbles are. Bubbles in that hot oil means uh, moisture. It's steam. When it gets hot, it boils, right? And that steam evaporates and bloop is a bubble. You think it's done? Yeah. yeah. I think it might be done. We better pull this off. Oh yeah. Take it over here. <laughs> Put that right there. Okay. Oh, here we go. Funnel cake, everyone. Mm -hmm. 
flip it over oh. and so it'll look like flip it over. Hole. Okay, ready? One, two, hold on. Hold on, ready? One, two, three, flip. <gasps> oh, it's such it a looks golden like brown. A... Wait, no, okay. no one eat yet. So, wait a minute, let it cool for just a minute, and then we're going to sprinkle. What is this? Powdered sugar. It's powdered sugar. Man, you two are this getting it today, This feels like a lucky, pretzel. Lucky it feels like a croissant. We've separated it into different amounts. Now let's sprinkle the sugar. <gasps> that is so pretty. Have a bite. Tell me what you think. Mm. Oh, such an immediate reaction. Mm. Is it really good? Mm. You're not just saying that. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> She's, I'm like, I don't know if I trust that. She like took a bite and immediately it's like, mm. <laughs> Oh, it's a tracker. I'm sorry. You can't have any funnel cake. You can't have any. Mm -hmm. This is the best dessert I've had in, I can't remember. No! I really like funnel cake. Mm. But oh. no! Mm. Yeah, we saved some for Agent Trinity right there. Oh my goodness. Sugar. I am letting you guys put way too much sugar on here. Agent Trinity is gonna really... Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> like it! All right, well, mm -mm. we got a lot of sugar. We better go and use up this energy and make some bows and arrows. Are you two ready to go do that? No, yeah. but let's eat the rest of this. All right, we'll eat the rest of this. And then, agents, we are going to go out into the woods and we are going to make bows and arrows, bushcraft style, which means we got to find the wood. We got to use our knives, our venture agents' uh, knives here. Yep. Can you bring mine? Uh, yours? Mm -hmm. Well, she doesn't exactly have an adventure agent knife, but I will let you, with close, close, close watching from me, maybe help out with the knife just a little bit, okay? Okay, agents, real quick. First, before we go do the bow and arrows, what do you think? Uh, no, stop. Man, sugar. No. <laughs> sugar for you. How long have humans been using bow and arrows? For like three thousands years. Thousands of years? Yeah, thousands. Thousands of years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many thousands of years? Take a guess. Three. What do you agents think? 30, Take a guess. 30,000 years. Five. 30,000 years? Yeah. Okay. Actually, scientists believe, which means um, <laughs> they think and they did studies and they tried to figure things out, to, uh, but, but they didn't exactly go in a time machine and go back in time. But they believe that the oldest bow and arrow artifacts that they've found are about 60,000 years old and are from Africa. Yep. Isn't that interesting? 60,000 years old, yeah. And here, where we live in the Pacific Northwest, in, uh, in, on this continent, um, uh, archery dates back uh, about 12,000 years, I think. About 12,000 years it dates back. Uh, so yeah, a long time. Pretty, pretty cool. It was a very essential form of hunting and, uh, and defense against uh, other tribes, other uh, people. So yeah, oh, animals, bows like and arrows, bears, really important. And bears and pirates. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, defense against animals too, predators. Let's bears go into the woods and, and mine some material for our they bows and arrows. They are and pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Attack! Look at this. Okay, agents, so, oh, we have a visitor. D.B. Cooper's here. But check this out, agents. We made this a while back, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a cedar bough, which is naturally arched. And then what is this? It's a root. From right? a cedar tree. Yeah. Now, it works okay as a bow, but we're gonna do something really cool that you can shoot actually far and like stick into things. So, but this is kind of an example of what we're gonna be doing right here. But before we go do that, now that we have a visitor, let's go say hello. What's up, Agent DB? Addy, brought you a cabin warming present. What's she? Oh! <laughs> no way! Literally. Yes! <laughs> Literally, a cabin warming present. Dude, this is awesome! Agent X, do you see what this? What is it? Is it a furnace? It's a wood burning stove. Yay! This is so. Can we use that as a furnace? This is really awesome. Can we use that as a furnace? Yeah, we can. This is yes. fantastic. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. This is amazing. That blue one would have taken a lot of work to get together. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I saw one in, in uh, over by where the old abandoned school bus was. Yeah. And I was one, talking to him about it. It needs a lot of work. Okay. And it has the plate. Look, we Wait, can. Sometimes we need to do a sauna challenge. Look, we can cook on it. Yeah. We can cook on it. Two burners. Oh, my goodness. Well, what do you guys say to Agent DV? We could cook like pancakes. Yeah, pancakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Agent DV. <laughs> Having great neighbors, 
when the zombie apocalypse is around is uh is always a good thing <laughs> give me stuff i'm gonna give you stuff there you go yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right well agents it looks like we have an awesome cabin warming literal cabin warming present could you help me carry it i don't know if i can carry that yeah, take two. all right agent hummingbird i need you to carry that right there agent axe you come back and forth and carry all these. Uh, out of the... Yeah, watch the video of you in that smoky fire. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the night. yeah that was kind of smoky. Yeah. The stove. All right. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. Okay. Can you make it? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, we got all kinds of stuff here. All right. Okay, so you just put them on like that. Oh, he brought a chimney? Yeah, it looks like it. Wait. Here, go get it out of the back the, of his truck. We should have the chimney to go through like right there. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, put the burners on right there. There you go. There you go. Oh, that, that thing you had is for lifting. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, and this is the flu. Is that what they call this, or the damper? Damper. That's the damper. And we put that in in the pipe, I guess. So yeah, we're. I'd put it up about. Right about there. Okay. And then we can get the heat. Mm -hmm. And we have the pipe go out the back there. Agent X. Bacon. Bacon and eggs in the morning. Put a pot right there. This is exciting. Oh man, we, we cannot thank there. you enough, Agent TV. <laughs> this is great. Uh, Let's make him a bow and arrow. What? Let's make him bow and arrow. Yes, yes. Oh, that's yeah. the handle. That's the... Ah, because that's going to be hot. That's yeah, amazing. look at that. Look at that. That is great. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so President elect Cooper, when's your inauguration date? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. All right. Well, I will be there personally. <laughs> I will be there. <laughs> You're going to have about, what, uh, a million troops to guard you, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> we we need a it, lot of troops to guard DB. Here in the <laughs> yes, yes. It wouldn't take too many troops to circle. You're right. They wouldn't even be able to find us. The zombies <laughs> couldn't find us here. <laughs> David's like, what is that? It's a drink. It's okay. She's me. Oh my goodness. Come on over here. I found some good stuff to mine. Okay, agents, so we're in a forest now, and what we are going to do is mine the materials. That's the whole point of these shows. It's we're mining, but in real life. And we're mining the materials we need to make the bow. And the first thing we're looking for is what's called the bow staff. That is the actual, you know, piece of wood or well, whatever material. And so the indigenous people of this area, uh, one of the bow staffs that they would use, and one thing that works well, is actually vine maple. Which is what you have, yeah. Mm -hmm. And vine maple, it also has a natural bow shape to it. Look at this, see that? This is vine maple right here. They call it vine maple because it kind of runs like a vine. It goes out, 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 and then up, and then out again, and up, yeah. So this right here is a vine maple. We want one that is alive. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell if something's alive right now because it is in the winter. So the way you tell is you just kind of snap it. See that? That is green, fresh wood that is coming out of this branch, which means that this one is alive right here. Look. I like this right here already. I like that right there. Like this? That's alive. Uh, yeah, that is alive. This one is really wonky and wavy. You might yeah. want to find one that's... No, uh, this one's too thick. It's too thick. So Agent Axe is going to get his own bow staff, and I'm going to get mine and Agent Hummingbird's. I'm going to get mine. You want to try to get yours? Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, well, you can help me, okay? Yeah, can't let her use a knife by herself right now. 
Look at this. Red what? cedar. Red cedar? Mm hmm See? Yeah, I think this is actually an apple tree. Oh. Yep, there was an apple tree over here. Okay, agents, I think I found the perfect one for Agent Hummingbird here. See this? There's a natural bend in it right here. See that? I think this is going to be perfect for you. Like that, back and forth. See if you can do it. All right, Agent Hummingbird is never to use a knife without me being right here with her. There you go. Yeah, knives can be extremely dangerous. Once never, we've ever, got ever. Right there, once we've got right there, we'll cut right here. Let young ones handle a knife unless you're we'll right there. Right here, once we've Probably got right there. Not to do it once very much at all. Once we've got right there, we'll cut right here. There we go. Grip it very tight. Okay. Mm -hmm. And whack it right there. Oh, that is great. No, that is perfect. Cordage. You're right. Yeah, we need cordage now. Yes, agents, we need cordage now. Uh huh. For the staff. From we cedar. Need some kind cedar. of cedar, cedar bark. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can make cordage from cedar bark. Actually, the indigenous people here of the Pacific Northwest and and actually around the world would use uh, something called sinew. I think that's how you pronounce it. It is the the fibrous material that connects muscles, yeah, to like once, bone. Uh huh. Once yep. in the Greek gods books, uh -huh. Zeus. It's next reading the book. Exactly die. Uh huh. He got his tendons ripped out. His sinew tendons like completely ripped out. That sounds horrible. By a Ouch. giant name. Yeah, I actually split the tendon on my uh, my uh, hand muscle once. I shot a nail through my hand. Right there, you can kind of see the scar. Shot a nail right through my hand. I was holding my hand on a fence and I was dragging a nail gun up, hand on the trigger, boop, nailed my hand to the fence. Couldn't pull it off. I went right through the bone, split my tendon right in half. Your tendons are very important. Anyways, uh, tendons, ligaments, now I'm getting confused here. Some of you people who know a lot about anatomy <laughs> could correct me, but the sinew is that. And so they would, the indigenous people would take the sinew off of the animals that they hunted, like buffalo or deer, and they would use that to string their bow up with. And it was very, it's very flexible, strong fibers. Yep. They would also use plant material to make rope out of, to make a cordage out of, and use that too. But that would be extremely difficult and take a very long time. We're not gonna do that. We're actually just gonna use some paracord. Hey, right, so Agent Axe has his bow staff here. This one looks pretty good. So you got a good grip on that knife, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he's got to keep a good grip on that knife because what would happen if that knife, if you let go of that knife? And bounce well, off that. Well, any number, it could bounce off, hit you in the head, hit me. You've got to maintain, like we talked about earlier in the knife safety, maintain control of your what, knife. Push it a little bit more up here so that's, I can have the groove. That's on one of the, the top things for safety. Assuming you don't want to hurt yourself. <laughs> Maintaining control can will ensure that you don't hurt yourself. Did you just cut this one down, Agent X? Yep. You did? Mm -hmm. Dude, Agent X. So I looked it up and this tree that he just cut down also, you said you didn't think it'd be good? It actually is. This is another tree that is actually good for making bow staffs. It's hazel. And I think we'll find that actually hazel bushes have really straight shoots. And those would be good for the arrows. So let's look for some hazel bushes. Where did you find this hazel bush? Right oh, over here? another good one. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might be a good arrow. Agent Axe is mining Daddy. a hazel branch. Daddy. Bush. This is a whole tree. A whole bush, yeah. You got a hazel branch here? Yeah. Oh yeah, this one is pretty straight. You got your arrows there? Yep. Alright. Well perfect, grab all your stuff. Let's head back to the log cabin. Let's build some bows boat, and babe. arrows. Right here. Baby, what you got? Baby, car, rabbit! Let me see. You got oh, a rabbit, rabbit. Baby? Where? Right there. Right there! No way! Look at that! A whole rabbit! I just grown! Saw, Let me see. I just saw her, like, so Agent Tracker, it looks it. like she <laughs> caught us our Look. dinner tonight. Wow! She did! Wow! She's never caught a rabbit this big. 
it's like oh Wait look a at the pack of it. Oh no 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 no. No oh yeah no. Oh it's cool but no kind yeah of that's deep. been dead for a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She may have brought it here but that rabbit's been dead for a while. Yeah, probably some disease. Let's stay away from that, okay? Yeah. Stay stay away from the, from the have rabbit. Him. Yeah, Faven. She's just going to eat it. Yeah, I don't think she'll eat that. That rabbit didn't look like it died from a, from another creature. It looked like it may have died from some kind of disease. So, yeah, I was I was hoping Agent Tracker caught us some bunny dinner. We really want to make some traps and do some catch and cooks for some rabbits. Um, maybe if we get good enough at our bow and arrow, we can actually get a rabbit with a bow and arrow. Shoot it. That's that's pretty tough to do, so we have to get real good at that. Yeah. Uh, we got quite a bit here. Okay, all right, so this is the cordage that we're gonna use, paracord right here, to string up the bows. All right, so to make the arrow, what you wanna do is, you wanna find the, uh, the straightest part. So you can tell when I spin this, you see how it spins around like that? You want it when you spin it to be straight. So I'm spinning this area. See that? It barely wobbles. So I want to cut it about right here. Right there. Okay? So right there, just kind of make yourself a, a notch. What we need is a piece of wood here. We don't want to dull our knives on that rock there. So just going to chop that. Break it. There we go, just like that. Now, we need a notch for our arrow for the string to go in. So this notch, I'm just gonna just have a tad of a, of a notch there for the cordage to go in. So I'm making this notch so that I can put this bow string in there, right inside the notch. And that way, when we pull on it, it won't come out. It won't slide down the bow. Because it's going to want to try to slide down. See that? Just like that. There we go. Now I just need to put another notch on this end of the bow. So this right here, I'm going to be using this to hit my knife. And that's called what, Agent X? Bombardi? <laughs> it's, it's called batoning. Yeah. Swinging your knife like that, it's not as accurate as batoning like this because you can hold your knife in the place you want it to be and then whack your knife it also doesn't hurt your hand as much <laughs> now we have our bow strong we need to put some tension on here so wrap it around here like that just a couple times cutting cordage is so easy if you pin it between a piece of wood with your knife here and just whack it like that a couple times cuts it nice pull that back like that tie it around one more time and there we go. We have our first bow here. Ha <laughs> ha look at that. Oh, shh, listen. Oh, that can be my bow? That's gonna be your bow. Let's see, how tall are you compared to this? It's exactly as tall as you, wow. Now this would be considered a long, a, long, a what? A long bow. You can you make it. a long bow for a me? A long bow, yeah. This would be considered a long bow. Can you make a long, a long bow, bow for me? <laughs> So Agent Axe's deal ended up having a natural split here, so that'll help with the uh, string. Yeah. Hmm? Agent Axe, your bow is ready. Here, hold it. Let's see. Wow, that is, it's exactly as tall. It's just a little bit taller than you actually. I don't know, maybe this should be my bow staff. What, you like that one, Axel? <laughs> Ow! No, I don't like this one. You don't? Okay, no, I'll say maybe it, we could give you this one. It's only way taller than me. Yeah, this one's like twice as tall as her. <laughs> <laughs> I hit my hand. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now, get right there. It seems like the saw is the best way to notch this out right here, this arrow. Good to have a little talk with Agent X. I want you to, to listen to me very carefully right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Listen, you are never, ever to 
even pretend like you're shooting when you actually have an arrow, okay? Mm -hmm. And if somebody asks you to stop, even if you don't have an arrow, because they feel uncomfortable, you need to stop, okay? She didn't ever tell me to stop. Okay, well, I she, I know, but she obviously didn't like it. So I was just, I was just making sure you know, never, ever point these things at anyone when you have an arrow. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can pretend, if you two want to pretend like you're shooting arrows whenever there's no arrows, right? But never, ever do that. Never, ever point this at someone because you can slip, let go, hits them in the eye, their eye's gone. Okay? Do, listen to me. You both understand that? Mm -hmm. If I ever see you doing that, your bow's gone. You lose your privilege, okay? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, we want to have fun. We don't want to, uh, no, we want anyone to get hurt. You, you, trust me, you do not want to live with the fact that you it's put an eye out on somebody. the ground and there are no arrows and they see that we don't have any <laughs> arrows so that I don't like say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this will harden the tip of the arrow there. All right, there we go. We haven't seen a zombie in a while. We haven't ever seen a zombie, ever. In a ever, ever. This fire is nice and warm. Mm -hmm. We're getting text. Mm. You want to get some vanilla wafers, I think. Wait, Wait, I hear something. Is that a zombie? Jinx! You want me a zombie soda? Hurry, get in! It's going down the road! It's coming down! It's coming! Oh! Zombie's coming! Zombie's coming! I see him coming. I see him coming. He's like right there. Dad, the arrows don't do nothing to me. Ha <laughs> ha! I want braids! I want braids! What? <laughs> slap his hand! Slap his hand! No, no, don't slap oh, it. No, I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to actually get hurt here. Now we know that these bows and arrows can defend our log cabin against zombies, right? Well, hey, let's go find a stump, a rotten stump, and do some target practice, okay? Okay, so what do we got here? We got our, uh... If you hit this, if you hit any of these We got our cardboard guys, zombie set up here. If you hit any of these guys, like... If you uh -huh. hit her or him, him, this him. This is Agent X's, that guy. Uh, or the skeleton skull, Minecraft you get 150 block. points. If okay. you get that, you get 10 points. 10 points, this okay. Is, that one? No, this is 10 points. This okay. is 1 point. All right. Okay, all right. Yeah, maybe you can... You can hit the creeper right there in the in the face. Okay, are you ready? Yes. All right. Oh, or if you moment shoot. of truth, we'll see if these uh, <laughs> Minecraft or uh, bushcraft bow and arrows really work. And if you shoot the creeper in its oh, eyes, I didn't see this creeper. That's if cool. If you shoot the creeper okay, in its eyes, right there, I guess uh -huh. you get 500 points. 500 and if you points. shoot it in the mouth, you got um, 300 points. Okay, all right, sounds good. So rule number one. You have to make sure you are responsible, okay? I'm serious. As the person who is shooting the bow and arrow, you are responsible for making sure that your arrow doesn't hit anyone. If somebody runs in front of your arrow, that's still your fault because you set up a situation in which someone could accidentally run in front of your arrow. You have to make sure that people are far enough away to even if they started running as soon as you shot, they could not get in front of your arrow. That's how important this is, okay? All right, are you ready? Do you see the notch? Mm -hmm. I made there you go. You got it. That's it And I would turn it this way to where the short side of the notch is right there. Okay, there we go All right now pull back as far as you can. There you go. Oh pull hard Oh Nice It's stuck That was good All right agent hummingbird pull back let go Oh Nice 
check that out. Good work. Okay, so with some practice, you'll end up doing it by yourself, okay? Try one more shot, okay? You gotta pinch the arrow. <laughs> it's kind of tough. Yep. It's, it's, shot three. It's kind of a tough thing to do. What are you doing, huh? This little, shot two. little beggar over here yeah. begging for love. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you hit it. Ow. I think I made my bow a little too thick. It is so tough to pull back. Let me try edge axe. All right. I got that zombie. Uh, that went through pretty good. Nice. Okay. I just shot it. You just shot it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I missed it. Agent Hummingbird just shot hers. Good. Good work. It went right next to that. All right, Agent Axe is going to try to hit this one. Ready? You think I can do it on the first try? Maybe. Let's see it. What are you betting? I don't know. I'm betting that I bet you the first try. I'm betting yes. Oh, oh. Close. Yeah. Oh. Deflect it a little bit. Oh! Okay, pull back hard. Let go. Yeah! Look at that! Let go. Oh! Okay. Back hard. Let go. Yeah! Woo! Alright, so I'm gonna see if I can go all the way through this box. Okay. Alright, ready? Oh, dude, look at that. That went pretty deep. Yeah. Oh, nice. It didn't go through. Yeah, we might try to get some skinnier uh, arrows. <laughs> All right, Agent Axe is going to get that Finally, zombie. It. <laughs> Did it puncture it? Oh, yeah, look, you hit the right zombie there. right on the nick of the neck. Where? Right there. All right, agents, well, we have had a lot of fun building these bow and arrows bushcraft style, but now we need to go into the digital world, and I'm gonna have Agent Axe teach me and Agent Hummingbird how to build a bow and arrow in Minecraft. Do you, you know how to build it? A thousand points. <laughs> Do you know how to build it? Do you know how to build a bow and arrow in Minecraft? It's easier to build a crossbow. A crossbow? Oh, mm -hmm. really? Oh, okay. All right, well, can you teach me how? To build yeah. a bow and arrow? Okay. And a crossbow. And a crossbow, okay. All right, well, Agent Axe is now going to teach me, Wee. us, Wee. we, how to build a bow and arrow or a crossbow too in the world Wee. of Minecraft. Let's go to the digital world. Here we go. All right, everyone, what is up? We are in the world of the digital. And boy, this is difficult. It's so hard, me figuring out how to record all this. I have to re figure out every time because I forget. <laughs> It doesn't come as naturally to me as working with my hands. But here we are in the world of the digital. We have to Stay figure right out here. how to make a bow and arrow. And Agent Axe already knows how to do this, and he is going to show us how to do it in Minecraft. Wait, stay. So, Come right here next to the fence post. Okay. Where that piece of grass was. All right. Okay. All right, so what are you building? Come in here real quick. No. Yeah. I don't trust you. He's going to build a fence around me. I'm smart enough. I know that you cannot jump over a fence in Minecraft. You can do just about anything in Minecraft, but you can't jump over a fence. You want to see me get out of here? Let me see him get out of there. Yeah, but that's because there's a block right there. Try to get out. All right, let's see. Let's see if I see if I guessed right the trick. I'm going to see if I can get out of the fence. It's raining. Wow, just like here in the Pacific Northwest. Hey, oh, wait a minute. That's a scam. <laughs> That's a scam. But you oh. can jump off on, over there. Oh, I did it. Okay, and did. right now we are going to mine the trees. Okay, we're going to mine the tree. Okay, so for any of you who want to know how to make a bone arrow, you will learn Now stop today. raining. You will learn. I'm the weather expert. I made it stop he raining. He made it clear. <laughs> so we're in what, survival mode right now? Yeah. But uh, Agent Axe knows how to do the hacks. Agent Axe can do the hacks. We'll need okay, so we are done mining this tree. Now what do we do next? We finish mining you're, this tree. You're still mining. Okay. All right. Now, what do we do next? You do follow do? me. Follow you. Okay. Follow the leader. We're going to play follow and the leader. So, now what we do is you get okay. your shovel and you mine that gravel. You need gravel? Yeah, for flint. Oh, to make arrows. okay. Okay. All right. So, and I am going to find stones so, so I can make So, you need flint. Together. Now, what is the flint for? The arrow tips. The arrow tips? Okay. So, 
flint is for the arrow tips. Flint and that's is something found near a water. That's something that we didn't cover, everyone. Oh, there's a spider. Oh. A spider? Oh, really? Where? And I'm gonna hit it. Okay. So, do you need a spider? Yeah, to make the bow. Okay, so you need a spider so, to make wait, the bow. We only need to have one more spider. Really? It, it turn, yeah, it turns out we don't need to well, wait till night because awesome. there are spiders in the woods. Okay, so so why do you need a spider to make a bow and arrow? That For might sound kind of strange to everyone. One more spider. For string, like the spider web? Yeah. Like the spider web? Okay, yeah, so just that's that makes sense. String. So, you know how we were <gasps> that saying that That is the biggest that mushroom sinew, that I like, have ever seen. Where are Look you? at that tree, mushroom tree. I'm like 150,000 blocks away. He's 150,000 blocks away. I just seriously Follow that, that tree over there. Oh, the, oh, look, there's a squid. So instead of using sinew from that animal, you oh, yeah, use get, kill the squid. spider string. Kill the squid. Kill the squid. Where? Yes, we need ink. Why do we need ink? So we can dye the wool and make targets. It's, so there's you need gravel for the flint and that's one thing we didn't talk about is that the indigenous it's people of right there. the Pacific Northwest and now, many other mine, areas. Oh look wow! Under Dude, you. look at There's all the gravel. gravel. They use I'm going flint. To stone. They use flint and bone stone to tip their arrows with, and uh, because they didn't, uh, 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 the people who were originally making bows and arrows uh, at that time. They did not have, uh, it was the Stone Age, essentially. They didn't have uh, steel or the ability and the know-how to actually uh, smelt metal and make uh, metal-hardened tips for their arrows. That came later. All right, so let's see here. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, is that, is that flint? Yeah, those two flint. Yes. And also... I have three flint now. How, how many flint do you need for an arrowhead? Probably like 30. 30, okay. Or not right. 30. So you, like, you, so we don't need the gravel. We just we need, need to mine least, in gravel to get At least flint. 20 oh, flint. There's another one. At, at least, least 20, 20 flint. Ah! Mm -hmm. Stop the water coming! Oh, okay. Oh, there's more flint. Ah! There's a zombie on fire. Shut up, what if I'm ah. <laughs> Not on fire anymore because right. I killed it. Okay, so now we need to get a chicken, right? We need to get a few flowers. Okay. A few flowers. Here are these red flowers right here. Okay, why do we need flowers? To dye the wool again. Okay, but... We're going to have red and black wool and white. We need... Okay. No so more flowers. So Max is getting flowers right now because he says we need to dye wool to make it... Ah, creeper! Yikes! It's saying the same. Oh, help! It's gonna blow up. <laughs> that creeper blew up. All yeah, right. It's a good better. thing that our log cabin wasn't right there. Yeah, we need chicken and sheep. Chicken and sheep. That's all. Chicken we need. and sheep. Agent X just killed a sheep. And follow me. Follow me. Any colored sheep that you see, kill it. Okay, so we're in a field with lots of pigs, but we don't need pigs. We need chicken I and sheep, chickens. you say? I found oh, chicken there's chickens. Okay, we need chickens for the feathers for the arrows. And that's another thing we didn't Watch talk out. about is that the uh Kill them. Oh, yay, yay, yay. We def we need coal. We need coal. Ah, this chicken's trying to get away. Come back here, chicken. Get yeah, they're pretty hard to kill. <laughs> oh, I got it. Okay. I just got raw chicken. I didn't get better. Don't eat raw chicken. It will give you salmonella. Okay. Oh, there's one right there. There's one. I'm going to get you chicken. No, I am. You hit me. Well, you got in my way. I was going to chicken. Oh, chicken got in my right way. There's chicken. another chicken. All right, so. We need another chicken. One thing we didn't talk about is that they use feathers on, on arrows to make it fly more straight. And uh, some of you probably already know oh. that, but uh, just in case you didn't. Um, I have four feathers. We okay. need about ten. Chickens! Oh. Chickens! Oh, I got some feathers. More chickens. All right, we are on the chicken hunt. Oh. Get back here! This chicken's running away. Get back! Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, feathers! Get back here. Hey. Hey. Got it. Ah! Oh my gosh! Creeper just blew me up. Get the chicken! Get the chicken! It's trying to get out. I got it in the uh oh feathers. Yes. 
creep up on the chicken. Hey, yeah. Why is it? It just looks at me like, what are you going to do? Are you going to hit me with your sword? Uh oh, my sword went away. Now I'm just going to have to get this chicken with my bare hands. <laughs> Gotta get it. Ah! Get ah! back! Come back! Ah! 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 Hey. Oh. You got Heather. I got it. That that took a while. Okay, everyone. So now we need to go get spiders. And where do you find spiders? In anywhere at night. Anywhere at night. Maybe in the dark forest. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So I'm gonna need swords. So Agent Ag just made Ax just made me stone swords here, and we're gonna go into the dark forest. Are you ready? All right. Okay. Let it be night. There it is. Okay. <laughs> now, we hunt the spiders. Okay, let's see here. Are you excited, Agent? Are you? Oh, there's a whole farm right here. Oh, there is a spider! Where, where, where? Let me see, let me see. Ah, Call yes! Call spider. Ah, ah. I got it back here. Doesn't stand a chance against both of us. There we go. Did you get any silk? No. So you don't always get string from a spider? Not always. Okay, let's see. Spider! Here. Where? Where? Where are you? I'm by the lava pit. Oh, okay. Right there. You see a spider? You have an arrow in your back. I do. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, get it. No, no. <gasps> Two strings. Yes. We need one more string to make. One more oh, string. Oh, I see another spider. It's on this side. One more spider. Where? Where? I saw its red eyes. Right. Ooh, okay. So you can tell a spider from its red eyes. There's a spider up there. There's a spider. Where? Oh, yeah. Over there? Okay. Agent. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Yes, you got it. You got it. And the skeleton is trying to come. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. So, so can you get arrows from the skeleton? Because the skeleton see. Yeah, I just got an arrow from Okay, so you get an arrow. He still has an arrow in his arm. <laughs> I have two arrows in me. You just, Go next to him. You got, oh, you got one, one arrow in his leg and one arrow in his arm. Can I pull it out? Can I pull no. the arrow out? Oh. I wonder if you can pull an arrow out. It's like... So, now we're going to learn how to make the bow and arrow. Right and click? click the bow and arrow. Okay. Okay, click bow and arrow. And press bow and oh, arrow. Okay, so we have this string here and the sticks that we made from the wood. And now you click on the bow. Click on the bow. And have it. Nice. Okay, all right, so we have a bow now. How do you make oh, the yeah, arrow? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, the spider gave you a spider eye. Oh, ugh. A spider eye. <laughs> I don't eat that. It will, like... Okay, so it. now how do we make arrows? So I just click on the arrow over here? Yeah, you just click on Oh, the... look, <laughs> nice. Okay, and plant... No. Stick you press shift and, and click feather. on it. Press shift and click on it. Shift press and click. shift and click on it. Okay. Press shift and click on it. Now it'll make as many as we have. Now press shift and click. Okay, on it. we got four arrows. Twenty, actually. Twenty. Wow. Okay, everybody. So, Agent X is making a target right now out of what wool and dye. Yeah. Okay, he's making a target out of wool and dye. So this ought to be fun. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. So this is wool from a sheep that he got right here. This right here is wool from a sheep. And are you going to dye the Red wool? and yellow ah. make orange. Light gray and gray make black. Okay, so we have our target. Now we're going to do Your some... Your head. Ow. No, Look, I don't have press to e. Press E. Oh, wow, I have an arrow right through me. <laughs> it looks just like the, the skit we did. Okay, so, target practice from from where? Back um, here? I am going to be practicing from right from here. Right here. Okay. I'm an expert at it. So right, I'm going gonna... to shoot at the uh, red on the left. Got it straight in the middle of the brown. What do I press? Right click and hold. Right click and hold? Oh, wow. Wait, right click and hold, and then press let left go. click? And no, and then you let, let go. go. Oh, I see. Wow. I got it straight in okay, the... Okay, so I gotta aim a little bit up. I got it in straight in the brown one, uh, Daddy. A little see? bit higher up. No, you got it in the red. Yeah, but I need to... Yeah. Ah, look, I got it right in the middle of the red. Straight in the middle. Look at that. Ah, oh, pretty good, get him, pretty good. Get him. Oh, squid. Okay, all right. Yes, all right. Squid. Target practice yes. on the squid. Yes, we did it. I've never done this before. Wait. <laughs> he dyed the sheep pink. Okay, so that's going to no, be... A, we're going to have target practice with a pink sheep, okay? Magenta. All right. All right. Magenta. Okay, all right. Look out, magenta sheep. Got it. Ha! 
I got I, it. I killed it okay, in one hit. That was way too easy. Oh, look, you get the Wait, magenta Wait, you hat. get purple wool. That's so cool. <gasps> that is so cool. All right, let's see here. Yes. I, oh, I got it. I got the sheep. Okay. No, I died at black. This is I died at great. Black, Daddy, I you died can at black. hunt wild sheep now. <laughs> oh, you died the sheep I black? I hit it into lava. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Okay. Wait, let's die at blue. All right, okay, pig. You try to die it. All right, I want to see if I can get this pig from way over here. All right, everyone, so I'm going to hunt pig and sheep from way up in this tree. Let's see how good my bow hunting skills are. All right, let's see. Get this one. Little above. Oh, it's moving. Moving target. Moving target. Yes, I got it. But it didn't. I didn't get it good enough. Moving target. Oh, whoop. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Let's see if I can get the pig. Pig now. Pig is a little bit harder. It looks like. Uh, it's coming towards me though. Why are you coming closer, pig? It doesn't matter. Oop. Ah, I missed it. Okay. Uh, yes. Got it. Okay. Now, how about a horse? Look how far that horse is away. Let's see. Oh, no. Not even close. Okay, my arrows can't shoot that far. So, how about right there? Oh! Did you see that? I got it. Yes! Wow! I think I'm doing pretty good. I got it. That was it. Wow. Did you, you see that? You shot the horse? I got a horse, yeah. All the way from over here. Okay, you what about... Do you want to see me hit that creeper way over hunting? there? Do you want to see me hit oh, that yes, creeper Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, let me see. Oh, does it blow up if you get it? Oh, no. Yes. Ah, you got it. Yes. Okay. Wow. Oh, look at the skeleton. Oh, we're going to get in a uh, bow and arrow battle with the skeleton. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm going to... Yep. Look, I'm gone. Okay. All right, well, this has been a lot of fun. Agent X taught us how to build a bow in real life. Now yeah. come and look. You I shot mean, I'm the sorry. <laughs> in Minecraft. And we all learned how to build a bow and arrow bushcraft style. And we could certainly improve on those skills. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much, Agent X, for teaching me how to build this bow and arrow here in Minecraft. And I am proud of the work he accomplished in building a bow in real life using bushcraft methods. All right, well, Agent Hummingbird, what do you think? You think it's pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to get more practice doing our bows, and maybe in the future we'll build a better bow, or we'll uh, develop our bow hunting skills a lot better, and maybe we'll even learn how to put tips on the arrows and feathers. Okay. All right. I watch my bow. All right, and we'll remember, life is an adventure, and love is a key, and we love you, and we are so glad that you joined us on today's adventure, and we can't wait to see you next time on the next adventure. All right, Agent X out. Agent, I just trapped you completely out. All right, Adventure Agent families, well, hopefully you enjoyed that episode, and remember, you can get early access to all of our adventure agent videos and also watch every single one of our family friendly videos on our new adventure agents app check the link in the description down below to see how you can get access to it our app is a safe and ad-free place that your family can consume all of our family's content and don't forget to check out theadventureagents.com shop to get all of your adventure agents clothing badges and our new survival gear, which includes our Adventure Agents Survival Knife, Fire Starter, Flashlight, Backpacks, and so much more. We'll see you on the next adventure.